Plato as uh, as the queen here, and uh, we're just going to get time going. In fact, we're uh, yeah, we're just kind of rebuilding our army after the last war, kind of a running theme of the recent episodes. And then we're going to be picking on, uh, well, not picking on, but finding someone to, uh, to kind of expand our realm a little bit further. As we as we saw last episode, our inheritance has been kind of fixed. We're having our grandson here take over once uh, once we die. And uh, we should get him at quite a young age, so we should be able to have quite a long lifetime, hopefully, with him and uh, make, some pro uh, make some progress. Uh, this guy wants to invite us to a feast. Yes, as a special guest. He's up here in this other realm. He likes us, his wife hates us. <laughs> oh yeah, because we're a hate monger. Yeah, we did do some decisions. Uh, she's cynical and we are zealous. And obviously she's a different faith as well. Uh, Joe, we'll say yes. Uh, it sounds like a bad idea, but we'll do it. We'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully we don't get killed. A warm welcome. So there we go, we've been invited into the feast. And then I think uh, we'll pick on somebody to attack after this. The innuendo, just say no. We've had that event quite a few times. Oh, actually, speaking of events, we we're going to look at that decision. We'll do that in a second. Uh, we have high learning, so we can think of some clever things to say. Alderda learned Arabic. Uh, oh, whilst we were at this feast? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. And we made a friend. So he's a friend now, I guess, you know. That's going to work out well for us, I guess, in some in some way. And, uh, yeah, we're going to look at that decision. It was like build pilgrim roads. Here we go. There could be no pilgrimage without a path to our holy sites. As such, it is imperative that we Mozarabs construct roadways to enable uh, access towards our most sacred sites. We gain 250 piety. That's good. And we get pilgrim roads in Cordoba uh, down here, which gives us 20% building cost reduction minus 20%. Why has it got the piety icon there? <laughs> that, that seems like that's a mistake. Uh, holding taxes um, plus plus fifteen percent. Development growth ten percent. Our development in Cordoba is crazy. I'm going to do this because we've never done this before. But uh, yeah, Cord Cordoba down here. It's modified for development. Must be insane. Development growth a month, zero point four. I kind of thought it'd be higher than that. I guess our base isn't that high. But even with all these modifiers, I mean, it's still quite good. I mean, what's theirs? 0.4. Yeah, I kind of thought it'd be higher than that, but oh well, it is what it is. Um, and obviously, uh, Cordoba is, uh, I think it's capped then at 25. I think that's the most we can have. I think our innovation isn't high enough to go higher than 25. Uh, yeah, this increases it to 35. So yeah, it's actually capped in Cordoba. Can't actually make it any better down here. So uh, interesting. Hopefully we can get that other thing pretty soon. And there we go, another feast. Everyone wants us at the feast, I guess. Feast the dilemma. The feast is dwindling down. I find myself deep in conversation with my kind vassal, the mayor. Oh, he is of our religion. Nice. He inquires about uh, my friendship or my opinion on friendship. I mean, why would you be like, no, friendships are bad. <laughs> Made another friend. We've got a few friends now, haven't we? Can we see a list of friends? Um, yes, in here. Yeah, look at all these friends we've got. Wow, we love making friends. And then, um, Joe, we, we haven't looked at this yet. Is the mem the memoirs uh, section? This came in the last patch in the uh, Friends and Foes DLC. Uh, it was actually part of the free patch that came with that, and we can see like a nice little breakdown. We won't look through this because we haven't lived well. We've lived a while, but I think we remember most the important things. Uh, you know, our wife here, our husband here, being executed. Um, he was the Earl of Dorset. He got executed by someone. Actually, I think this is before we played this character. That's interesting. Yeah, you got executed. Oh, well, there we go. We did learn something from this. And then you can, you know, just see a nice history of your um, of your character and what's happened in, his realm, in her realm during the lifetime. So, you know, it's quite cool to have a look through, kind of think of things you've done, see why people like or dislike you. Uh, somebody spilled something all over our dress. Um, let's do this. And then we're returning home. I guess that's quite a good feast. And then, yeah, like I said, we'll have a look. See who else we can attack. Leon. Uh, yeah, we need him to die, really. I don't know if his realm will split. No, because he's only got one son. So that, which is unfortunate. Because, yeah, we really could do with Leon splitting up a bit. And then we can start taking them on a little bit. Um, can we? 
Hmm. Can we declare war on them for her? I guess not, because they're not part of our realm. No. And she's a, a queen as well, so she's not going to just let us um, do anything like that for her. I think we might attack Al-Andalus. Let's see. Do we ever get any more claims on them? No, we didn't. Uh, let's have a look. We probably should do that. Yeah, let's start getting some claims. Let's see if we can get a claim on the entire Duchy of Cordoba, and then we can go to war for it. 17 months? Oh, you're awful. In fact, I think you can't even get Duchy claims. That's how bad you are. <laughs> how old are you? 66. Dude, you need to die. <laughs> we need a new Archbishop, preferably a good one. Um, but we'll see, I guess. Because, um, yeah, he's terrible. He, I mean, he loves us. He's done some good things for us, but... Not being able to get duchy claims is such a bad, bad thing. The claims take longer, and then they can't, they're can't. they also not as good. So, all in all, bad time. So, uh, yeah, let's see what else we can pick on. Maybe you? Yeah, you're independent. You have no money. You have some piety, but I don't think enough to cause us trouble. So, uh, do you want, let's keep expanding down. Seize this. It's du jour part of some realm. We have. Wait, where do you get this many troops from? <laughs> Oh, he spent all his piety on um, holy orders. Well, there you go, see? Told you he had a lot of piety. I don't think it'd be enough. I think, especially with this commander here. He's pretty good. He's flexible leader, open terrain, and a forder. So we can actually cross water without taking the penalty. Do we have anyone close who's a holy warrior? Uh, it's probably not... Not worth it for the plus 10. I mean, plus 10 is quite a lot. But, um, yeah, I think the fact he's way better, well, he's like six better than him, is probably going to be better than the plus ten from this. I'm not sure, though. I could look into it and figure it out, but do you know what? We'll just attack him anyway and see. Um, so, yeah, there we go. So we'll, we'll pick up another one of these. Fearful Troops, Men in Arms, Maintenance per Dread. We're not very Dread character, so I think it's really worth it. Republican Ruler Opinion. Sure, that's probably worth doing because we are focused with the metropolitan tree on um, kind of on our cities and stuff like that. In fact, if we build cities, we get a big development growth boost, don't we? Each city increases the monthly development growth of its county by 20%. So yeah, actually, we have some money. I wonder if we can build... Do we have any empty slots? Yeah, here we do. We build a city. Yes, nice. Oh, wow, that was way cheaper than I thought. I thought cities were way more expensive than that. Yeah, actually, they're way cheaper than I thought. So we'll build these, and then we'll give them away, because obviously we can't hold cities ourselves. Um, but that's going to boost our uh, development growth. I mean, Cordoba doesn't need it, but we're going to do it anyway. That's good. Let's spend all our money. We probably shouldn't have spent all our money, should we? But uh, too late now. We've done it. Uh, inspiration Project. Very competent. Hmm... Well, we can't really with the money we had. If we hadn't spent that money, maybe. I uh, will attack him here. I'm feeling confident. Probably shouldn't, but we're going to be. No, we shouldn't have been. Because we're going to lose. <laughs> Never trust the game when it says, you'll probably win this fight. We did kill a lot of their troops, to be fair. Yeah, we killed nearly a thousand. Although they did kill 2,000 of our troops. Well, there you go. Wow, this lighting is dramatic, isn't it? Uh, the munificence of Fruella. Okay. In the past few days, neighboring Count Fruella has been visiting my corn on his way to some holy site or something. Since his arrival, he's been outshining me. Oh, he's giving away money to people. Well, we don't have any money, so I'm going to say, um, yeah, let him. And we'll just take some court grandeur. Which is kind of weird. You get court grandeur uh, improvement from just saying, yeah, do whatever he wants in our court. Kind of seems like you would lose grandeur for that. Uh, I'll take it, but you don't. Anyway, yeah, let's come back down here. Replenish these troops. Oh, actually, saying that, what is our... Yeah, you should probably... Oh, no, this is nearly finished, though. Our controls are 89. Sure, let's change this. Let's change it to Knight Effectiveness. So that's going to boost how good our knights are. In fact, can we replace you? Yes, we can, with this guy. 21 Marshal. He's way better. So he's going to improve our knights even more than that. Well, 21% better after 21 months. Emir Boutros friendship. So he's just coming in and saying like, hey, do you want to be friends? And we'll say, sure. Oh, our daughter died in the end. So does that mean both our children are dead? Yes, they are. Okay. 
That's unfortunate. How did she die? Died in childbirth. Well, yeah, that is, that is unfortunate. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Um, interesting, both our children died. That's sad. I haven't had that happen for a long time. Wait, is there 800 troops? Where do all these troops go? Did he lose them all? Has he no longer got that holy order? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, he died. This isn't the person we declared the war on. It was him. And then I guess the holy order was claimed by the original owner, maybe for a different war that they're in. Well, this war is going to be super easy then. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> we were... We're going to turn this around. We've wiped their army, so sure, we'll split this army in half. We'll just send half of it on, and the other half we can just disband. We might as well save the money. We don't need them. We've literally just destroyed their army, so all uh, all good. Oh, these are still the two we don't care about because they're not really good enough for us to do. And then we'll uh, carry on down here. So, uh, yeah, interesting. Interesting that all our children died. So, yeah, it isn't just our grandchildren that uh, are now heirs to the throne. I mean, pretty pretty wild, isn't it? You live up here in uh, in Dorset. So he owns Dorset and Gloucestershire. And then um, one day you just get told, oh, actually, you own half of Spain. <laughs> well, a third. A third of Spain. So, yeah, he's obviously waiting for us to die because um, he's going to do quite well out of it. I want to spend some gold on a claim. Yeah, we will spend it. I kind of wanted to take more... But um, we'll have to do it one by one until he dies. I mean, we can go to war for it one at a time, I suppose. It's just kind of annoying doing it that way. But um, we might have to. How are we doing for the phase, actually? Iberian struggle. We are heading towards compromise, but not for a while. Yeah, it's not growing super quickly, so we'll see. Catching Thieves of Myth. So this is another Thieves Guild. Uh, that we've captured the leader of, and we can send them somewhere else. I'm going to do this one, improve our control level in basically all our counties that we own. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll sell out her friends. There he goes. Raised his army. That's a bad idea. We're just going to immediately kill it. But I guess you're going to lose anyway, so why not? Would, would need some intervention by some kind of god to win that fight. But... Oh, there we go. We, we captured it and captured him, so... Nice. Disband these. So we've made a little bit of progress here. What Dutch is this? Is is Bila? Is Bilia? Yeah, I'm sure that's how it's pronounced. Oh, in fact, yeah, we actually have him. Can we not push his claim then for here? De jour. Does it give it to him? Yes. Yes, 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 it does. Oh, I think that's the same war we did here. Yeah, so he Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that worked out that way. Um so yeah, we could attack him. Who are you allied with? Well, Bayer's the only one who will actually come and help. He's got a lot of gold. So yeah, again, we could attack him. He's got 25 stewardship. We really need him to die. Because um, he has a lot of gold. and he, So he can bring in a lot of mercenaries. So I don't think we're going to attack him. It's kind of a risky war to fight, crazily enough. Uh, yeah, somebody else just died. We're tracking. Oh, the leader of this realm here. Oh, and this guy died. Wow, everyone's dying this episode. Oh, yeah, no, no, the one of Danny and Al Andalus, he died. He's actually winning a war, an internal war. Uh, the War of the Tyranny. I don't know, he doesn't have much gold or piety. We could attack him whilst he has no allies. Take this Borderlands. Do we want to do that, though? It doesn't really seem worth it, but at the same time, it does expand our realm. So I guess it's not the worst. Are we no longer allied to Navarra? No, we're not. I could have sworn we were allied to you before. Well, in that case, we might actually just declare war on you because we have a claim on the whole of uh, Navarra on the kingdom. So, you know I'm going to do this. Right, well, there we go. This is unexpected. We're going to um, gonna take the kingdom of Navarra. So, well, hopefully, anyway. The good thing is then we'll get claims against Leon for the rest of the land. So we can... Um, when we do decide to take on Leon, we could do with some alliances, but obviously, yes, we have no children anymore. Uh, we can't uh, we can't do that. So if we could ally with uh, Galicia or something, it'd be amazing, but uh, not going to happen. With no children. We can't siege this down. How good is this for? Fort level 6? Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, I agree. Right, let's... Uh, what fort level is this? Is this worse? It'd be hilarious if it is. Yeah, it is. Fort level 4. In that case, we'll just go straight for the capital. 
Because our onagers will actually uh, negate that. Yeah, it's only got, they've only got 700 troops. Oh, they've got a few more. Doesn't really matter. We're just going to go siege their capital down, I think. And just get this over and done with pretty quickly. If we can siege it. Yes, we can. Nine months. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this for sure. Wait, have they actually got rebellion? Oh, they do. Navarra and clash against the Kingdom of Navarra. Defending against Count Munia of Navarra in the Nav Nav Navarian claim against the Kingdom of Navarra. So it's a, a double Navarra. It's Navarra versus Navarra. So... Oh, Leon's attacking it. Oh, yeah, her here. She's actually trying to take... Oh, she's trying to take this land that we're after. Oh, interesting. Uh, how are you doing in that war? Minus 50? Oh, we're going to have to watch out then, because if he wins... The, if they win this war... If they win this war... We'll then in inherit the war against them. Now, luckily, I don't think the king will join. But we've got, yeah, we're going to have to watch out. I think we'll be fine because they won't be able to siege us down because we will have it ourselves. So uh, I think we'll be fine. I, th I think we can win this without them kind of winning the war a a a ahead of us. I can talk properly. There we go. Plush and exotic carpet. A plush carpet, vibrant and soft, arrives with a gift from the Emir Ab Abitha. Abitha. Oh, this guy that hates us. Yeah, I think we better get rid of it. Yeah. Do not, do not put the carpet down. There's bad things in the carpet. <laughs> just don't do it. Yeah. I like how one of the decisions is like, this seems suspicious. Don't do it. Inspiration project. This is for an adventure inspiration. Let's go to Africa. You're merely decent, so I don't really trust you to get anything good. Oh, her skill is legendary down around the world for a weapon. So let's do this. It's going to be a lot of gold, but we're earning a lot of gold as well. Inspiration funded. She smiles with cold intent before bowing deeply. It's worth an honor and a privilege to forge you a weapon. She, uh, she speaks in a dignified way, but there's a glimmer of excitement in her eyes that betrays her serious demeanor. She's just super excited about making us a weapon. Something about slash and pierce, so we could get either a dagger or a sword. A axe, hammer, or mace. A spear, or just make whatever you want. Um, Joe, let's, let's just make, let her choose. Why not? You know, I trust her. Anyway, we've won this war. In fact, I think we still inherit the war, don't we? Yes, we do. We still inherit the war because we took it. Well, in that case, we'll just siege down their land immediately. Return of the King of Thieves. Oh, he's back after doing that dodgy stuff for us. Um, I don't want him to join our court. 235 gold? I mean, he is good, though. He is good. But he is 60. So... Hmm. I mean, look how good he is. 28. <laughs> Entry. Exhausting. How about become a spy instead of a criminal? The spy now will search and report two secrets from the rulers involved in the struggle. That's pretty cool. It is almost 500 gold, though. And you find out two random secrets from rulers. Um, you enter a lethal duel. No, you won't get away with this time. Prepare yourself. You don't name the Thief Slayer. We got 16 prowess. He's got four. I'm gonna risk it, guys. Single combat with the King of Thieves. For a few moments, Enrique and I play, pace in a lazy half circles, each watching for an opening. I heft my Toledo sword. Got that sword of Toledo. Got that new sword coming soon. Unfortunately, it won't be here in time. But uh, we're gonna try to do it with the sword of Toledo. Better men than you have died trying to break my guard. I'm gonna say that. Better men than you have tried to do this. Uh, you'll never break my guard. Better men than you have tried. Well, we've already done that one. That's the best you've got. You can't even hit me. It becomes harder to injure myself. <laughs> Look at what kind of thing stab ourselves. And uh, this is to the death, so we could in theory die for this. And then we'll play as our uh, as our grandson. Time and again, I backpedal, dodge, and weave, always keeping just within uh, attempting target distance soon. Enrique shows sign of exhaustion. Enrique screams my opponent. Whirling, he just screams his own name? Okay. Whirling his sword furiously at, around, and near me. Why is he just shouting his own name? For the, for the Lord and God suffer blasphemer. Because he's Catholic? Okay. Uh, we gain piety. With divine wrath. With a shouted prayer, you humble yourself before God. Let's try it. No! no! <laughs> 
God was not with us this day. Queen Patricia of Toledo rests in the arms of the Lord at 52 years of age. She was slain by Enrique, the King of Thieves, in a duel. An old woman, she lived a long, fulfilling life. I can't believe we died. King Wolfgit ascends to the throne, having mastered many skills. Has he though? <laughs> Has he though? I can't believe he killed us. But he's got a different sword now. I have no doubt that God intend me to win this bout, and as I say much in my shouted prayer, unfortunately, my opponent takes advantage of my divided attention to deck me in the face with his sword's pummel. I stagger backwards, snarling in blind rage at the blasphemy, but my rage is cut short as he plunges his weapon into my lung. I splutter choking, just barely able to make a sound as blood fills up my cavity, my, my chest cavity. Uh, yeah, we're like, God, I am with you. And then instead, just get murdered. <laughs> well, there we go. Toledo is now uh, part of down here in Spain. And then we own a bit of the, uh, of England. So we're on the way. We're on the way up, I guess. Right. This is our character. He's not come of age yet. He is focused on uh, diplomacy, which I don't really want. Can we change this to learning? I'm going to change this to learning because I kind of want him to be learning focused. It's a bit late to do it. But we'll see. Yeah, we've got all these lands. I might just give these away, to be honest, up here. Uh, well, they'll be part of us, but I think we'll we'll make a... Um, we'll grant this to someone. I know this is our kind of homeland for our character. But um, we've got too much land, and I don't care about them because they're in England. So uh, grant them to an Anglo-Saxon, someone of the Anglo-Saxon culture. I'm just going to do this and make and actually give him both of them. Oh, no, they're actually two different duchies. Although it doesn't really matter. It's not like we're going to be um, expanding in here in any way. Let's sort out our council. Um, yeah, you. You. Wow, yeah, you. Okay, we've got a really good council. Well, he said before we got to the bad people. Duchess Joanna of Castile. So we took her um, title off her. That's why she hates us. Well, we didn't. Our mother did, I suppose. 31 learning? I, w I wish we had 31 learning. Oh, Felipe. I'm going to do Felipe, I think. He's just so much better than everyone else. And then we'll keep him doing this. Uh, we'll do this on domestic affairs for now, just so we can build up some um, some people liking us. And then, is our how far is our uh, development here? 23. Okay, so this can actually be increased by two more, so we'll do that. Uh, he's still trying to get that claim down here. We are not betrothed. We are going to fix that in a second. We're not endorsed by our bishop. Minus one. We can't... Um, how much is it sending some gold? I'm going to do this because we actually earned the gold back from the fact to like us. Uh, we don't care about this or this. Uh, first in line to inherit the earldom of Somerset. So here. So we might actually inherit more of this land back. So that would be pretty cool. And then everything else is done. Disable buildings will fix itself in a second. We do need to convert ourselves to our primary uh, religion. Did we do that? Oh no, no we did. We actually converted to Mozarabic. Interesting. So we weren't before we played as him. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, we are going to convert to our local culture though. Uh, yeah, we'll find a linguist so we can learn our local language. Yep, I don't care. Pay some money. We need to learn this language. Can we not convert to local culture? Oh, because we're at war and we're a child. So no, we can't do it until we come of age, which is in like four years. That's unfortunate. Um, and then, yeah, we'll finish off this with war. We know about the Empire and Struggle. We just get told that in case it's the first time you play here as a character. And then we need to find a wife, ideally. Oh, we can actually get an alliance with Leon. I think that's worth doing. I mean, she doesn't look like the most amazing character. Um, but um, we get an alliance with Leon, so we don't have to worry about them attacking us anymore. And we can use them to attack other people. Like we could attack Galicia then, using uh, the uh, Leonese, um, uh, the Leonese uh, troops. Oh, nice! We still get to get the mace made. Wow, she hates us. <laughs> oh, is she zealous? Oh yeah, she is. These frivolous distractions will end. No, I'm going to carry this going because we can remember our uh, our dearly departed grandmother, I guess. Uh, there we go. We are allied with Leon. 
so that we don't have to worry about them attacking us. Get this war finished. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, okay, yeah, so nice. Yeah, so ally with them. We Oh no, he's got 6,000 troops. Quite a lot. Um, but we could attack Galicia. Actually, do we have any... Oh yeah, we need to finish this war first. And then we can have a look. But uh, yeah, we can come after these guys. Uh, Al Andalus has got another war. The Liberty War. The beating. Are you stupid little newt? Why must you always be in my way? I'm going about. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Is this our? Uh, I mean, this is another random bishop we have. He's actually quite good. Can you be our archbishop? Oh, how people can be cruel. So we could become shy, or we could become paranoid. Um, I guess shy. Shy is not good, but I think paranoid's worse. I can't believe he just beat us. I mean, I guess both of our parents. Oh no, no, our mother's still alive. We bring it to court. We gain stress because we're shy. It's a bit harsh that we get stressed for inviting our mother to, to come to come join us. That seems harsh. Oh wait, no, she's not very good. Melancholic drunkard. Oh my god, she's got so many bad traits. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Inspiration, considered opinion, my weaponsmith. Updates me on her progress, droning on about the limits of tongs and bellows as my mind reels with bold ideas for my mace. Forging may not be my personal forte, but it doesn't mean I can't have a say in how the money is spent. Why do we have this? Prowess challenge. Yeah, well, we, we're not going to have very good prowess. No, one. I have a future... Oh, we're shy. And we've also got terrible stats, so we, we, we'll fail all these anyway. So I guess we'll just say, eh, she knows what she's doing. Got a new commander. It's unfortunate because we probably would have got a good weapon out of this with our last character. To get an artifact, sell it. Um, sell it to our physician. No, I kind of want to keep it. Oh, saying that, uh, do we equip everything? Yes, we did. Oh, we actually got a different weapon. I guess we had something from our last, uh, from obviously the realm we were ruling before we played as this character. It has a, a, a Perry sword. Isn't any good. Got a box of bones. Oh, that is equipped. Oh, so he he came to us with a few things equipped. So he has a beautiful wooden warrior. Is a bit of prestige. Or the the box of bog bones. Dread game plus 20%. Okay. We've got terracotta for toy fowl. Plus one learning. Actually, I kind of want that for, just for the learning. Uh, oh, and another learning item. So I think we'll get rid of this one. Although the dread's kind of funny to have. It's not amazing. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing there. Let's get... Yeah, this. There we go. We got all ones that are going to kind of give us good stuff. We have got some things that are going to um, not uh, not survive there, but we will repair them. Oh, nice. She's actually coming to us in memory of our grandma. Our grandmother. Yeah, who just died. The, the queen. I'm going to yeah, I'm going to put in memory of her. Why not? We kind of owe everything we've got to who she is. Oh, we've won that uh, war up here. We siege this down. So we should just get a bunch of money from this, I guess. Well, some. <laughs> She's only a count, so yeah, not not a lot. But there we go. Nice. Did that war. We won it for our dearly departed grandmother. We've got some things we can place down. I guess we brought some stuff with us. Crime and punishment. Okay. We're not we're not an intrigue character, but still. There's some extra bonuses. And the Omedo Mace. Must have got from somewhere. Actually, no, I just moved that from the slot, didn't I? Yeah, Queen Valencia's jewelry casket. I guess we stole that in the last one. We just didn't realize before we died. There we go. I think it gives us a bit of piety, so that's pretty good. Core Grandry is level four. I mean, it's going to be kind of bad until we come of age, really. We are child. No, it said we had an event. Oh, there it is. Now we'll just do this. <laughs> we killed him. Nice. We've done that event a lot of times. This one where he... He appears and he's like bleeding all over everything. It's like, please help me. And you're like, no, I'm good. Do you speak my lingo? This is boring. Just speak angelic. I can talk just like the grown-ups. I'm going to do this one so we lose stress. Why not? Anyway, our troops are recovered. We got some money. Well, actually, we're getting a lot of piety. 2.8 a month. I guess our 
grandmother was um she'd had some negative traits with her being lustful so um interesting it's going up by that much 2.8 seems a lot though let's have a look religious relations Callan table jewelry back casket learning from domain actually yeah i guess those artifacts are actually helping us quite a bit so i will do that inspiration realized there we go my lord he shows he's finished it king wolf gets mace a tiny but elegant inscription runs on the side dedicating it to in loving memory of patricia plus 12 prowess plus nine percent nine effectiveness wow this is awesome yeah i'm very happy with that <laughs> very happy with that I mean, it's not the highest tier, but plus 12 prowess, plus 9% night effectiveness. That is pretty decent. That's one of the better. That's one of the better weapons I've seen. So uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that. Anyway, let's ransom these children off. Get some, uh, get some more money in. And then yeah, nice. Okay, pretty pretty happy with how uh, how we've done today. Under the stone spine. Wood by beauty. A piney, but not spine. Uh, stress gain minus 25%. I should sponsor musicians. 5% more prestige. Yeah, let's do that one. Oh, yeah, there's like a little internal war going on here. Nothing too crazy, though. Yeah, Al Andalus, we kind of want to... Yeah, he's going to lose this war. So it's only a liberty war, so he's not going to lose any land. But it means, uh, obviously, his vassals are basically taking stuff off him. Uh, like you know, the laws and things like that, that we can do. Where's this? Oh, here. This top one. Yes. I'll, no. No, it isn't. Uh, uh, Seekdom of Alakos. Hmm. Oh, well, it's this one. Isn't it? Yeah, Al Alakos. Oh, it's just not. It's just not lighting up for some reason. Yes, yeah, this one here. Yeah. Your claims. I wonder if we get a claim on something else, we can do more than one in one war um, with where we are. He's got no troops and he has no gold. So I think next episode we'll attack Al Andalus. But we're going to leave it there for today. Uh, as always, hit like button if you've enjoyed today's episode. If you're new here, just subscribe to the channel. I play Crusader Kings, other grand strategy games. Got some Victoria 3 stuff coming up soon. Well, by the time this comes out, it'll already be on the channel. So if that's your kind of thing, uh, you know what to do. Hit subscribe. But for now, we're going to leave it there. I'm going to watch Bavaria grow even bigger and France having a, having a bad old time. Claim for the kingdom. Okay, these aren't disillusion wars, thankfully. And then Nikea, we were hoping they formed the Byzantines again, but not yet. They've got the gold. I just don't think they own the um, the land. They've got six, um, six kingdom titles. Do they have... Oh, they have Confederate Partition. So when she dies... This is all going to split up. I think that's usually why you don't see it reform. Because obviously when they lose the Byzantine title, they lose Primogenitor, which is how it usually stays together so well. Um, so yeah, basically one ruler in their lifetime has to basically get all the land and try form the uh, the Empire. It'd be amazing if we see it, but I don't think it will. She's probably going to die soon. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, like I say, amazing if that happens. But uh, yeah, we're going to leave it there for today. I'll see you in the next one.